Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Chad Usuji and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sign for your ATM business. One just like that right there. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Welcome to the Chad Usuji Show, where I show you business strategies, marketing techniques, and tactics to grow your own business. Now, before I get started, I just want to talk to you guys about whether or not you should decide to put a sign next to your ATM or not. Now, if you put a sign next to your ATM, you know, you can get as much as one transaction or two transactions more per day. So if you want to break this down, if you get one extra transaction per day because you have a sign. So say, so say you put your ATM sign in the window of the business. If somebody's walking by and they see your ATM sign and they think, oh, maybe I need money, I have to go take out money from the ATM, they'll go, they'll pay you $3. And if you have one of these customers each day, that means you're getting an extra $3 per day on your ATM machine, which means that you're going to be making $90 more per month. Now this sign right here costs, I don't know, it was like $15. And you can make that back in you know five days if you have one transaction every day. So it's definitely well worth the investment. And you know, other signs on the internet, they are going for, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 dollars. You know, and the thing that I like about this sign is that it's customizable. You know, I can change the color, I can change how it flashes. So a lot of the other signs out there, you know, they're only white or they're only blue. So this sign. I feel like it could attract more attention. It could potentially get you more customers to use your ATM machine. So that's just a benefit from, you know, creating your own instead of buying one online. And honestly, I think this one looks a little better than some of the other ones that they're selling on eBay, Amazon, whatever. So let's just dive right into it. All right. So some of the things you need for this video is a piece of acrylic. Uh, this one is eight by 10 inches. You're also going to need a foam poster board. You're also going to need this sign. I will provide a link down in the description. If you need one, you also need two pieces of wood. You need an LED strip, uh, preferably ones that can actually change color. You're going to need some wood glue, some spray paint, a hammer and a drill. We're also going to need some drill bits. We're going to need a saw. We're also going to need an exacto knife or a knife just in general. We also need nails as well. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of wood and line it up with that piece of acrylic and you're going to draw a line. And what I like to do is I actually like to mark them. So as you can see, I'm marking it with eight inches. That just means that that piece is eight inches and I can separate them from the other ones. And also if you have one of these saw guide things, you're going to also want to clamp that down so it doesn't move around. And as you can see, I'm cutting these at a 45 degree angle. So that means when I match up these two pieces that they match at a 90 degree angle. So it turns into a perfect rectangle. All right, so you're left with four pieces of wood all cut at 45 degree angles, two at 10 inches and two at eight inches long. Also I have these four metal things. I don't know what you call them, but they connect the pieces at a 90 degree angle. You actually don't need these. If you do have them, you know, just put some glue right on your piece of wood. And you're going to want to clamp both of them down so that way they squeeze the glue really, really tightly together. Now this is what I have left over and as you can see, I also put some screws in there. For those of you who don't have, you know, that 90 degree tool. Also you want to drill a hole in the bottom so that you can connect your LED strip to it. And as you can see that this piece of paper is actually backwards. So when you flip it over and shine a light through it, you can see that it actually reads ATM instead of MTA. So you want to tape all four corners down that way. It, nothing moves around. 
So on the side that I'm cutting actually has a plastic film. So you want to make sure that it does have this plastic film over it because what we're going to have left is we're going to have the leftover plastic that's covering the letters. So we're going to peel the excess back so that all we have is MTA still. So the next thing we're going to do is spray paint it over. Um, you're going to want to take it outside and make sure you shake it really good. Now you guys can only see me doing one coat, but I put at least five coats on this thing. Now you want to make sure you get it really good or else the light is going to shine through and it's going to ruin your entire sign. Now, after letting this thing dry for a few hours, I took my knife and I actually started to peel away at some of the letters. Now, you want to make sure you go really slow so that you don't pull up any spots that you don't want pulled up. So now you actually want to fit the power cable through the little hole that we made earlier. And then what I actually did here is I actually connected it and then I actually taped it so that way it doesn't come undone, you know, after I seal everything up because once everything's sealed up, I can't go back in and, and fix things. Then you're going to want to take off the bottom of the LED strip so that way you can actually stick to the bottom or to the inside of our sign. And make sure you get it centered all the way around that way you can get a good even lighting through your sign. And then since it's too long we actually have to cut our LED strip so make sure you cut it on those little gold points. And then once we plug it in, you can actually see that it does in fact light up. So now you want to take your drill and you actually want to drill right into the acrylic to make four holes in each corner. And that way we're going to actually stick our nails in each corner so we can actually hold our sign, the acrylic part in place. Now you want to match up the sign to the poster board and you actually want to draw around it so that way we can cut it out in a little bit. Once we have the poster board cut out and fit perfectly, you just want to make sure that there's nothing else hanging off the edges or we can go ahead and cut those off. Now before we can actually close our box up, we need something to diffuse the light inside. What I use is a piece of wax paper, but you can always use a piece of printer paper or something else white like that. And you actually want to tape each side. And now we can actually go ahead and close up our box and this is the finished product. Thank you guys so much for staying till the end of the video. I do have a free ebook if you guys are interested. It's about starting your own ATM business. You can actually click the link down in the description below if you want access to that free ebook. But you know, that is all for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.